In the musical theater world, we always say, when you can't speak, we sing. When you can't sing anymore, you dance. Because it helps to tell a story. At this point in time, we're not just merely entertaining audiences. They have become smarter. And so we use different character development and techniques to help tell that story. There are still choreographers that use it for entertainment purposes, and audiences love that. But there are those choreographers that work through different forms of dance and different ways of telling a story, whether the audience realizes it or not, to help with that character development and storytelling. It is my hope that through this class they will gain a new understanding of the role of the choreographer in musical theater, uh, that they really do incorporate storytelling and a new appreciation for the job that they do. It's not just doing dances for entertainment's sake. It is using dance as a storytelling device. So looking at the role of choreography in musical theater, Agnes DeMille was one of the first choreographers that used storytelling to move the plot forward as a device. There were many choreographers that continued with that, such as Bob Fosse, and now to Andy Blankenbuehler with Hamilton. Many of them will use choreography in a storytelling way as opposed to for entertainment purposes. So I'm hoping to make audiences more appreciative for the work that is done. I welcome all of you to come to gain a new appreciation for musical theater dance and the role of the choreographer. I ask you to come and meet those dancing feet and gotta dance. <laughs>